What's your, oh, so that's what it was for, moment that took you too long to find out. Those little green swords at Starbucks. I had no clue what they were used for until I was complaining one day that my coffee gets all over the lid when I walk. My friend grabbed one and stuck it in the top of the lid and asked why I didn't use a stopper. A stopper! Oh my god, my life has just changed. I just learned something too. Of course, I don't drink coffee, but anyway. I'm sure we're going to be learning a lot of things this video. Not me, but my dad. He always likes to look nice and put together. One day before church, I was maybe 14, I asked him if he had a lint roller. He got it for me and it was absolutely covered in lint. So I ripped off the top sheet. My dad's eyes widened in shock. I always thought lint rollers were so expensive for how few times you could use them. He never knew there were more sheets underneath. Dad was in his mid 50s then. He hates when I tell that story. When I realized that the division sign is an empty fraction. Dude, you just blew my mind. That the approximately correct amount of loose leaf tea for one cup is a teaspoonful. That one makes sense. Not sure if this is a feature on all smoke detectors, but finally after five years of owning my house and getting used to grabbing a chair and knocking the batteries out of it, I just hit the test button on the front when it went off while cooking. Hush mode activated. It turns it off for 15 minutes and automatically turns itself back on. It felt like unlocking a secret character in Mortal Kombat. For years, I've had this electrical outlet on my back porch that's really intermittent. The thing works about half the time, then stops working for a couple weeks. Really frustrating. About six years after I bought the house, I also figured out what that one switch in the living room does. You know the plastic hooks on vacuum cleaners that are used to wind the cord around? Well, the top hook will spin 180 degrees to release the cord, so you don't have to spend time unwinding. I didn't realize this till my wife showed me well into my 30s. It took me four years of owning a car to realize I could spray washer fluid onto the rear windshield. I just assumed it only sprayed the front, and I would occasionally throw a bucket of water on the back if I needed to. Then one day, I just noticed an odd symbol on a lever I hadn't seen before. Held that mother down for about 10 seconds before a massive gush of liquid burst out of the back and changed my life for the better. I feel like that last sentence out of context could really go the wrong way for you. Clapper boards in movies. They're used as a visual reference to sync the audio and the video together in editing. Have you guys seen those escalators with the green lights shining through the steps? When I was very young, maybe five or six years old, I asked my dad what those lights were for. He told me they were for the blind. A few years ago, maybe, when I was about 23 or 24, I got on one of those escalators with lights again with a friend of mine. I wanted to tell my friend this little fact that my dad had told me years ago about the lights and escalators. But as soon as I wanted to explain, I realized my dad was trolling me the whole time. It took me just under 20 years to realize it. I think we all have that one thing that we were told as a kid that took us way too long to realize wasn't true. I was a housekeeper for someone years back when I was in college. Side job, extra money. I would see short straws in random places at the house where I worked. I usually just picked them up and threw it in the trash can. It took me two years to realize the person I worked for had a drug addiction and he was using the straws to snort. Now I look back and I'm glad I wore gloves to clean other people's houses. I bought a used pickup truck in the late 90s that had an electronic key fob like any car does these days. It had a couple other buttons as well that, when pressed, seemed to do nothing. I asked them about it at the dealership and they told me it was probably for a remote start that wasn't hooked up. After two years of driving that truck around in cold Chicago winters, I sold the truck to my brother when I bought my first new car. One day, while talking to him, he started the car up with the remote starter. I stared in complete shock as he explained that you have to hold the button down. It's always a humbling moment when someone knows how to use something that was yours better than you do. I had no idea that salad spinners were to dry your salad. I thought they were to mix your salad dressing or something. We got one as a wedding gift. So I loaded one up, dumped some dressing in, and it spun a ton of the dressing off the salad. This made me think that the product was to apply dressing flavor to all of your salad bits without dealing with all the extra calories that come from overloading on the dressing. So naturally, I thought it was a total waste of time and money and tossed it into a cabinet to never be used again. 
A year goes by and I see a comment on Reddit about how salad spinners are such a game changer and so worth it. And I thought people were just crazy. Nope, I'm the idiot here. They're to dry your washed salad bits so you have nice, crisp, non-soggy salad. I had no idea. And the box sure as heck didn't tell me that. I worked with a guy on a construction site and it took him seven months to realize that the porta potties had urinals in them. He thought that the bowl was in there for a sink that they put in the nicer ones. Just today at the gym, I forgot my shower sandals and I was like, oh sweet, they have disposable slippers just in case of such an event. I put them on and walked through the change room, used them, they worked well, until I realized that they were shower caps. I mean, you can use them for that. After high school, I was working a temp job in a business remodel. The wood floors had been put in and the contractor had a big roll of paper that he taped down to cover the floor to prevent scuffs and scrapes while the work continued. One time I touched the roll of paper and noted that it was somewhat sturdier than normal paper and reminded me of the craft paper that we used in elementary school. Then I remembered that as a child, the teacher always called it construction paper. The bagel button on toasters only toasts one side of the bagels or bread or buns. When I was a kid, I had a large toy box with a lid. I had to use my head to prop up the lid when I grabbed things. There was a place to put a stick to prop it open. I noticed that there was a stick kept in the kitchen for me and my brother's spankings. By the time I realized the stick was originally meant for the toy box, I had outgrown the toy box. Your parents were essentially beating you with your toys? That's kind of messed up. The wiggly metal bracket on the end of a tape measure is like that on purpose. The amount it wiggles matches its thickness. So you can take inside measurements and push it in, or outside measurements and pull it out, and you'll get consistent measurements. I lived in the US for a year, and I was really annoyed about our light switches. They didn't lead to any lamps. There were no lamps in the ceiling at all, and I couldn't figure out why we had switches on the wall. I was also super annoyed that a few sockets worked sometimes, but not all the time. I never talked to our landlord because, frankly, he scared me. And since I was moving back soon, I just figured I'd live with it. Fast forward 11 months when I visited a friend's house. I couldn't turn on her big floor lamp. Just do it like this, she said, and flipped the light switch on the wall. It turns out, in America, light switches can lead to sockets in the wall. I can see how that would be incredibly frustrating to someone who's not used to it. For years, I thought those weird storage pod thingies some cars and vans have on the top of the roof were mini canoes. As in, I kinda thought that until I was like 24, but was too nervous to ask anyone. Since as long as I can remember, my mom has kept this creepy doll hung up on our wall in our garage, right next to the door to go into the house. The thing's a real eyesore, clothes are ugly, and it's just this raggedy thing. So recently, I asked my mom why the heck she keeps this ugly demon doll hung up on the wall, and she says, Really? It holds plastic bags. She walks up to it and pulls a plastic grocery bag out of its butt. 19 years in that house and I always thought my mom just had some weird taste in decoration. To be fair, you could use anything as a plastic bag dispenser. It doesn't need to be this creepy doll. I think your mom's taste is still a little off. That I did not need to put eggs in the refrigerator egg holder one by one. That instead, I could put it on top of the eggs in the case and simply flip it over. Well, yeah, but then all your eggs are upside down. That dryer sheets prevent static cling. I always assumed you put them in to make your clothes smell better. So when I moved out, I just never bought any. Then one day I had to do laundry at my mom's house. In the middle of switching the laundry, I'm complaining about the socks all stuck to the blanket. And my mom says, well, put in a dryer sheet, dummy. Oh, so that's what those are for. Those travel toothbrushes. I always carried one on me and always wondered why they made them so tiny. Until one day on vacation with my girlfriend, I'm using it and she says, why don't you use it normally? Then she grabs the casing for the toothbrush and attaches it to the bottom of the brush. Mind blown. I always wondered why there was a G in the stylized Disney logo and it honestly took me like 15 years to figure out it was a D the whole time and I was just an idiot. 
So I was a first year medical student and was late to class and ran in sweating through my Oxford shirt and khakis. The lecturer was some esteemed local windbag cardiologist. As I sat down, he stated very grandly, The most important part of the stethoscope is the part between the earpieces. I took my stethoscope out and started looking at the little spring thing that connected the two earpieces together, trying to figure out why that little cheap part was so important. After way longer than it should have, it occurred to me that he was talking about the doctor's brain, and dropped my stethoscope like it was hot and hoped no one saw me examining the little spring thing. Condensed Soup I always wondered why the cans were smaller yet tasted super salty and were thick. I never took the time to read the instructions about how you're supposed to add water. I went 39 years without knowing. One day, I finally asked my wife, and after she stopped laughing, she explained it to me. Growing up, my mother raised me to never look in her purse because it was rude to rifle through other people's belongings. At seven years old, I felt like a rebel and looked through her purse while she was out gardening. I found her lipstick, wallet, and an odd-shaped canister that looked like perfume. I figured, let's give it a shot, and sprayed some all over me, mostly my face. What I didn't realize was that it was pepper spray. I ran around screaming in utter pain. Lesson learned. I mean, she tried to warn ya. When I was a kid, my grandfather and I built a model of the 1989 Batmobile together. We worked so hard to get it together. With neither of us having built models before, it took hours. We finished up and we had one green piece left. We looked through the instructions and looked all over the model. Could not figure it out. Finally, I went and got my grandma to see if she could figure it out. She came in, took one look, and it was the top of the superglue. We had forgotten to recap the superglue. You must never forget about the piece of resistance. Took me an embarrassingly long time to realize that movie is referring to a moving picture. It's an old-fashioned term, similar to talkie. The metal square thing on a stapler can be turned around so the prongs of the staple go outwards instead of inwards. It's a lot better for temporary staples, much easier to undo. I was at an antenatal class with my wife when the instructor shared a tip for making sure you let your baby feed from each breast an equal amount, by taking it in turns left and right which one you start off with. How do you remember which one you started with? You use a hair tie. A few minutes later, she remarked, and don't forget to put the hair tie on your other wrist when you next do a feed. To which I remarked, rather too audibly for a room of 20 strangers, oh, you put it on your wrist. Oops, I was a bit slow that day, and many other days. For a split second while reading this, I thought the same thing. That the pockets on suit coats and blazers and back pockets of slacks are loosely stitched closed and meant to be cut open. I spent four years of my life as a ticked off pragmatist. Why the heck would you put pockets just for show? Those jerks. One day, a friend heard my incessant complaining and goes, you know, you just make a small snip and pull the thread out, then the pockets are accessible. I go to the closet and snip open one of the pockets. Well, don't I feel stupid. I had just bought my first house and needed to patch a hole in the bathroom fan exhaust duct in the attic. I was walking around Lowe's thinking, I wonder what sort of tape I should use for ducks. Then it hit me, duct tape for ducks. Thank you, thank you my friend, I, I never put that together. Potato peelers have a little indentation on the end of them. It's used to scoop out the black parts of potatoes that you don't want to eat. My mind alternates in this thread from, I didn't know that, and it's really cool, to, how the heck did someone not know that? Pipe cleaners. When I was a kid, they were used for crafts and stuff, and I just figured that they were used to clean, like, kitchen pipes. In my kid brain, that kind of made sense. As I grew up, I just never really thought about it again. Then one day in college, I decide cigars are expensive and pipe tobacco seems much cheaper overall. Plus, the rustic feel of a man on his porch reading with a tobacco pipe always appealed to me for some reason. So I went out and bought a cheap tobacco pipe. And while I was checking out, the cashier asked me if I wanted pipe cleaners. The scales just dropped from my eyes. It took 20 plus years to learn that pipe cleaners were used to clean, you know, pipes. I've been driving my Chevy Silverado for nine years before I realized I could lower the seat height. It had been at max elevation the entire time. First time in the past decade I've been able to see the sky out of my windshield while driving. 
Q-tips. I'm British. We don't call them Q-tips. And I didn't know what they were until I was in my mid-20s and saw a meme with a photo of a Q-tip. I was genuinely shocked. People never actually use them in books or films. They just say stuff like, I think you need a Q-tip, if someone misunderstands something. I thought it was like saying, get a clue. And I'd always just assumed Q-tips were a reference to some kind of American game show. This one's just a cultural difference and a very easy mistake to make. Don't worry, we understand. In the song I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, it's Daddy dressed up as Santa Claus. I didn't realize this until my late 30s. Yeah, the song takes on a whole new meaning when you realize mom and dad are just doing a little role play. Grapes on the front of raisin packages. My girlfriend told me last year that raisin and grapes are the same thing, and I laughed it off because that's nonsense. Then I saw a big grape on my raisin box. Yes, and I'm 33 years old. I never got the euphemism of Blink-182's album, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. I just thought it was a dude getting ready for bed or something, not taking off your pants and jacking it. That makes total sense considering the band. My boyfriend was around 21 when I had to explain this to him, but he asked me to have dinner at his parents' house and I asked what we were having, and he said roast beast, and I laughed at him making a Grinch joke, and then he asked me what I was talking about. I mentioned that he called roast beef roast beast, and that the Grinch reference was funny, and I realized he seriously had no idea what I was talking about, so I had to reveal to my boyfriend that roast beast is not an actual thing. It's called Roast Beef, and Roast Beast was strictly a Dr. Zeus reference. He was a little embarrassed, but it was really, actually, so adorable. I have a similar one to this in that I called it Girled Cheese for the longest time instead of Grilled Cheese. It's just the way my ear heard it for some reason. I know it doesn't make sense. I learned at 27 how to properly clean a toaster. I didn't know there was a trap door at the bottom of it. I showed an Ivy League friend of mine and their mind was blown. You know, we all have gaps in knowledge sometimes, and sometimes they overlap with your friend. The fact that pineapples don't grow on trees, they're just plants. I didn't know this until I was hanging out with my friend and we were swimming in her pool. I got out and pointed to what looked to me to be a weird spiky looking plant, and she looked at me completely dumbfounded. She just looked at me and said in a disappointed voice, that's a pineapple. I felt like my whole life at this point was just a lie. For the longest time, I genuinely thought pineapples grew on trees. That the reason baby vests have envelope shoulders is so that when they do a poop that explodes all over the vest, you can remove the vest downwards instead of lifting it over their head and smearing poop all over their face. When you first walk into a Home Depot, there's always a stack of orange buckets by the entrance. And for the longest time, I thought they were Home Depot's equivalent of a shopping basket. I'd haul that thing around just throwing screws and hardware into it and then just put it next to the cash register when I was done. They'd always ask if I wanted the bucket too, and I just thought it was a clever way of selling more buckets. Only about a month ago did I realize they're just buckets, and everyone at Home Depot just thought I was mentally imbalanced. Hey, you know what? You're making use of it. I'm not going to fault you on that one. When I finally figured out why dad's special cigarettes smelled so different from regular cigarettes, then his room full of black lights, incense, psychedelic art, and old-fashioned pipes made a lot of sense. I got my driver's license while only using the clutch pedal for driving in reverse. I didn't even know you had to use your accelerator until my girlfriend pointed it out after having my license for over a year. I would think the instructor would have caught that one, but I guess that's on them, not you. When I was little, I was fascinated by TV guides. I thought shows on television were just aired totally at random. I used to stare at the TV guides and whisper, how do they know? The image of this one is just kind of cute. As a toddler, I always loved it in church when we'd sing about some bear named Gladly, and who happened to be cross-eyed. Every time, it painted a cute picture in my child mind. A cuddly teddy bear with crossed eyes and a sweet smile. I'll never forget the disappointment of learning to read and opening the hymn book for the first time to Gladly the Cross-Eyed Bear. I had to explain to a friend of mine who was 19 at the time that large people were obese, not a beast. 
I have earbud headphones, and where the cord splits, there was this slider thing. The whole time, I thought it was something to adjust the length or something. Then, I found myself untangling my headphones, and I said to myself, if these two ends didn't split up, things wouldn't be so bad. Then, it hit me. That sliding thing was there to keep the ends together and stop it from getting tangled. Some people also use it to just tighten it up to your chin if you're going to be moving around and working out or something, but that's one way to use it too, I guess. Not me, but my brother. He would have been around 15 at the time. We were at an amusement park in line for lunch. My mother turns to him and asks what he wants. He pauses for a sec, then says, I want a cheeseburger, but with no cheese. At this point, I do what any older brother does and start to laugh a little bit and ask him the question again. Same response. At this point, he knows he's doing something stupid. So I ask him, you mean a hamburger, right? He says, I don't want ham. You know, I can see how that could be misleading though. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. Put the playlist on in the background to finish listening to all the stories linked at the top of the description. And if you like Am I the Genius, give Am I the Jerk a shot, linked in the description as well. Either way, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.